Hi, my name is Fred Paco. I'm Professor of Epidemiology and Public Health uh, at the University of Lausanne, and I'm head of the Institute for Social and Preventive Medicine, uh, a part of the Lausanne University Hospital. I am Antoine Flau, the head of the Institute of Global Health at the Faculty of Medicine, University of Geneva. And both of us are belonging to the École Romande de Santé Publique, the French-speaking School of Public Health in Switzerland. We are glad to uh, offer this course uh, on screening and related methods and uh, related policies. Uh, screening as a public health strategy will be developed uh, in this course, uh, taking uh, two parts. Actually, the first will be devoted to the metrics of screening, to the methods used to monitor the implementation, the outcomes of the screening. And in the second part, we will present a set of uh, case studies, clinical situation, clinical conditions, which are using screening. You are a cancer specialist. You are a physician in daily practice. You want to know if you have to apply a screening program in your practice. Or you are a public health professional and you want to know if you have to apply a screening programs in your country. This book will be helpful for you because we will teach you why this particular screening is helpful, why, on which basis it is funded, why it is needed to apply for your patients, for your population. Do you have to start these new programs in your practice or in your population, in your country? Do you have to stop it? All these issues will be discussed with specialists in epidemiology, specialists in ethics, specialists in various disciplines of medicine. To sum up, this course is aiming to provide the practitioners appropriate tools to make the appropriate decisions. But the first actor in this MOOC will be you. Through the forum, you will have an opportunity to exchange, to interact between yourselves and also between the teachers, between the faculty. You will be able to co-construct the MOOC together with us. We do think that screening is an extremely important topic for public health currently and for the future. So we do hope that you will join uh, this course and that you will enjoy it. Hello, my name is Gillian Bartlett Esquilant. I am a professor from the Department of Family Medicine at McGill University. I hold the position of Associate Chair and the Research and Graduate Program Director. I am a collaborator on research and teaching with the Institute for Social and Preventive Medicine and the University of Lausanne. I am very pleased to work with the University of Lausanne on the second edition of the course that was originally entitled To Screen or Not to Screen Methods and Health Policies Through Case Studies. Based on feedback from our learners, we have made significant improvements to the MOOC now entitled Disease Screening in Public Health. This edition includes new material in the form of videos and up-to-date publications, improved quizzes, and reorganization of the previous modules. The reach of screening is growing in popularity and complexity. However, research and training on the development, implementation, and evaluation of these programs remains fragmented and is often disease-specific. With this course, we hope to provide a broad overview of some of the most important aspects of disease screening in modern public health and to promote a more global approach to the science of screening. The specific objectives of the course are to increase the competency of people involved in the scientific field of screening and to understand the public health perspective in screening programs. With this course, you will understand that screening cannot be considered as a test in isolation but must be considered as an entire program that is complex and requires careful evaluation and considered decisions by patients, providers, and policymakers. I hope you'll decide to enroll in this course. I am certain that you will enjoy the material we have put together for the new edition of the MOOC on disease screening and public health.